simple question is how does a transformer work? And uh, in simple terms, as uh, Henry discovered, I forgot what year, but a long time ago, if you have two wires and one of them has current going through it, and that current's changing, the fact that it's changing will induce a voltage in the wire that's parallel to it. So if this is a sinusoidal current going through this wire, you'll have a sinusoidal voltage induced in this one. Uh, now, if that's true and you get excited the fact that you now have a voltage and a wire that's not touching this one, and you're greedy, you'll say, well, why don't I double it because I'll, I'll make it go around and come by again. And you will, in fact, double what you've found. And if you're still greedier and you keep making it many turns, you'll get a fairly high voltage across that second wire. And that's what a transformer is. Uh, improved on a great deal because the coupling between, this is an electromagnetic field that causes this induction. The intensity of that field is proportional to the permeability of the medium. If it's air, you're not going to get much effect. If you do this with iron in between, you'll get a significant voltage. So what is it? A transformer for electric power is simply windings around a piece of iron coupled to another set of windings around the same piece of iron, or core core, such that when you change current in, in one winding, you get a voltage appearing on the other one. So you're transforming from one circuit to another and the, the voltage, the ratio of voltages across that depends simply on the number of turns. If you have 50 turns on this one and 50 on this one, you'll get the same voltage on both. If you have 50 on this and 200 on this, you'll get four times the voltage on this one. And that's how transformers work. It's simply a question of, of design, the objective being to cause as much as possible of the flux or the field that goes through one coil to link the other one. And that's, uh, that's how transformer designers go at it in, in building transformers. And sometimes, rather than having just two winding, you may have three windings or four. <laughs>